Dior and welcome to today's video. I have the new basic witch palette from Bella Beauté Bar. I'm so excited. Bella Beauté Bar sent me this palette. It is launching on Friday. I've been impatiently, excitedly waiting. Look at this. I cannot wait. We are gonna do three looks. We are gonna do swatches. I'm gonna tell you what I think of this palette, my first, second, third impression thoughts. We are gonna have a good time with makeup. Let's jump into it. Okay, y'all, let's talk about it. This is the Basic Witch Palette from Bella Beauté bar we have been talking about this palette for a few weeks here on my channel in our sunday judging new makeup videos i cannot wait to dip into this palette to show you the looks i've been creating swatches all of that do you see this beautiful color story we have light mattes we have mid-tone mattes dark mattes we have shimmers multi-chromes oh, all the good stuff, y'all. Bella Beauté Bar did send me this palette. I'm excited. I am working, working to get this video up to y'all ASAP because this palette is launching on Friday. So the cover, you can see we have the basic witch in the like holographic lettering and it's raised lettering in the back. We have the Bella Beauté Bar like logo that's like just in the mat. Like it's a very, very nice detail. Inside, we have a nice big mirror with their logo and all. And then we have our shades inside. So I do wanna show you close up. I wanna show you swatches. I wanna to talk to you about this palette. So this is the Basic Witch palette launching on Friday, September 8th at 12 p.m. Eastern time zone. There's nine mattes, four multi-chromes, two of which are hollow chromes, and there are two duo chromes in this palette. I did my best to show you swatches with my camera, with my phone, in, in all different types of lighting. Like, I really want you to be able to see the shifts of the shadows. It may be excessive, the amount of swatches I did, but I really, I really just want to show you the shadows to the best of my ability. I tried to manipulate my hand and move my arm and stuff like that so that you can really see these shadows shift. You can see how beautiful they are. You can see if it's something you're interested in or not. So I hope you enjoy the swatches. I do hope you enjoy the swatches. Overall, I'm just feeling so happy with this color story. I really, really am. I really like the selection of mattes. I really like the selection of other shades in here. I am so excited to show you the looks that I have created because I've already created some. We're going to create one today, but I did want to let you know this palette is going to be $65 and you can use an affiliate code to get a discount. So if you use code Heather, you will get a discount, not just on this palette, but on anything Bella Beauté Bar on their site. So you've seen the swatches, you've kind of heard my initial thoughts, like looking at this palette, all of that is so beautiful. I love Bella Beauté Bar as a brand. I think they make great, great, great products. So I have already filmed two looks with this palette. So I will show you those two first and then we will do look number three and I'll kind of wrap up my thoughts at the end. I don't know if you can tell, I am excited. This is a fun palette, it's colorful, it makes me happy, so let's jump into it. Okay y'all, I'm so excited to dip into this palette create looks. We're going to do two different eye looks today, like one on each eye. So I'm going to put down my eyeshadow primer and I really want to play with these purpley mattes. So I think what we'll do is maybe like maybe these two purples in the crease. Maybe we'll just, yeah, maybe we'll just kind of start here or do like a two-toned crease and then we'll see if we can deepen things up with this shade. But we'll kind of start with this one right here called Hex 
and then we'll go into black magic okay so i'm taking that shade hex on a blinged brush it's one from this set i forget it says e3 i'm going to tap out any creases that may be in my eye primer and we're going to do a two-tone crease so i'm just going to start with this lavender right here i'm just pressing that right here into the socket i'm going to pick up a little more shadow bring it over a little further and i'm going to kind of bring it up above my socket as well just to kind of open this area of my eye up and then i'm just going to kind of press first like that and then i'll add more shadow and blend a bit okay now i'm taking black magic this is a game beauty brush and i'm going to put this in like the second half of my socket so right in here where we ended that lavender bringing it out down right here to the lash line and then i'm just going to take my time blending like this it's a really really pretty really pretty purple shadow i'm just kind of pressing and blending pressing and blending like that then i'll pick up a little bit more and add a little more right there since i kind of buffed that color out so much i'm just gonna go back and forth like this i'm gonna wrap it under the lower lash line like this and then pull it underneath to kind of smoke it out under there not too intense but definitely purple you know all right i'm going back with that first brush but no additional shadow and i'm just going to make sure i have a nice fade a nice blend right in here down around just using this to kind of blend like i said i didn't pick up any extra shadow on my brush or anything like that now i want to go in with the shade hecate right here this like deeper purple i really like that we have these like purple variations because not only will they pair really beautifully with the other shades but you can just create a nice like purpley look like i'm doing today so i'm gonna grab a small brush we're just gonna like go over top of this mid-tone purple right here in the outer corner and then i'm gonna get like a tiny brush and define the lower lash line with this shade okay i just want this darker purple right in the outer corner so I'm not bringing it out too far. I'm not bringing it up too high. I want to just keep it right there on the lid like that. That way when we get up here, it's the mid-tone purple and the lighter purple. So I'm going to keep it super low, but right there on my lid. And then out and around a little bit. This brush, did I say, is from my Sigma set. It's a link to the description box. I know it's out of stock right now, but I'm just going to, yeah, pull like that and then let me grab a small brush to define my lower lash line. Okay, this is a Game Beauty brush and I'm taking that shade and keeping it right up against the lower lashes. Not blending it out too low, just right in here. Okay, we are going to go with a beautiful shifty shadow all over the lid. I'm excited. We are going to put this like from here over to where the matte starts. Like I'm giving it a lot of area to cover because I want this shift. So the shadow that I'm going to use, I mean, we've got options. We've got options in shiftiness over here, but I want to use this shade right here, Cauldron this one is so beautiful like i know you already saw the swatches but it's just so pretty and i think this like aqua teal blue is going to 
look so gorgeous against these purples. So I'm going to put down my Shimmer Stay from Bella Beauté Bar. You definitely don't have to use a product like this. I just enjoy it. It's going to give me even more intensity. So I'm going to pick that up and I'm going to use a brush that's a little more fluffy. I have my blinged brush. It can get messy. I don't care. I like the way it kind of like disperses sparkle. So we're going to use that. We're going to put that shade all over the moment I've been waiting for. Okay, so looking down, I'm going to press the shadow off my brush right on to that shimmer stay. And I'm just going to press, press, press it on. And then once I have it kind of set on top of that shimmer stay, then I'm going to go and blend and make sure I kind of get in all the wrinkles and crinkles of my lids. Make sure everything is covered. Okay, I'm loving this. That is so beautiful. I love the way it catches the light. It has such a gorgeous finish to it. I'm into it, especially next to these purples. So let's highlight the inner corner. And again, we have options. I think doing a matte inner corner with this lavender would be gorgeous. I could pull in this pink, but I'm not done with the shimmer and the shine. So I am going to highlight the inner corner with this shade right here. This one is called Perfectly Wicked. I love that. I'm going to pick this up on my Game Beauty brush. I'm not going to spray my shimmer this time. Normally I do, but I don't want extra intensity right now. I just want this little touch of shadow right here on the inner corner. And I mean, it's intense without spraying the brush. <laughs> It's intense and beautiful without spraying the brush. I just didn't want to emphasize that intensity. So I'm just going to wrap it like this. And this is going to be our look. Of course, I'm going to do liner and a lash. But here you have our finished look. Five shadows. I'm into it. Didn't take me long to do, but it's impactful. And I'm feeling it. But I do want to create a look over here on this eye. So I'm going to throw down my primer and we'll get started. Okay, I want to use the three mattes on the top row for this look. We're going to use Glinda, Conjure, and Grimoire. But first, I'm going to start with Glinda. This really beautiful, like, pinky, it's kind of like a dusty pink color. Okay, so I'm making sure I don't have any creases in my primer, and I'm going to take this shade all in the socket, up above the socket, buffing it up, buffing it out, you know, just, just letting it get kind of carried away up here. Just easy blending motions that is looking gorgeous gonna add a little bit more but really letting this shade be kind of blown out now i'm gonna take conjure the hot pink and i'm putting this all on my lower lash line like this wrapping it kind of a little bit in this outer corner right in here because we're going to connect that to the um the orange shade right up here so i'm just making sure i have that shade down and then i'm just going to buff it out so that it kind of fades and blends nicely right in here okay now i've got grimoire i'm gonna put this oh do you see how pigmented that is wow that is pigmented i'm gonna put that shade right there wow that is really beautiful Oh, wow. Well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like that. Now, listen, if you see texture on my lids, my eyelids are dry. I am sorry about it. It is what it is. I'm just having a little bit of dry skin. I have oily skin type, but I'm having a little dry skin right now. So, ignore that. Ignore that. I'm going to put the orange grimoire there. And then I'm also going to put it on the inner part of my lid right in here, just leaving the center of the lid empty for shadow. 
Okay, let's go in with this beautiful shade right here. I've been dying to get this on my eyes right here. This shade called Incantation. I'm going to pick that up on a brush from my set. I'm going to pick the shadow up and then I'm going to spray the brush and we're going to put it all in this empty space. All right, I'm going to press that on first. Wow, that is so pretty. That has so much sparkle. Wow. That has so much beautiful, beautiful shimmer, beautiful reflect. Now, there are no pressed glitters in this palette. So when I talk about sparkle, I'm not talking about a pressed glitter. I'm talking about like shimmer and sparkle. I'm going to take what's left on my brush and just kind of pull that up here. Once I don't have like a lot of shadow left just to kind of disperse it. But the bulk of the shadow, the pigment, all of that is going right here in the center. I feel good. I feel good in both of these looks. Wow. I really do. I like that. Okay. I'm going to go back and just blend with that orange some more. I like how like these like it just kind of fades since these are the same tone like the matte we do need to highlight the inner corner again i have plenty of options i really really do i hmm, i think this one's gonna be so beautiful though to kind of connect this hot pink like on the lower lash line to where we have the orange up top so this that sh which please that shade it's gorgeous it's like this pink with blue sparkle something. I don't know, but I think it's going to be stunning right here. Okay, I picked that shadow up. I sprayed my Gain Beauty brush after I picked it up. And I'm going to tap this right here and kind of wrap it around the inner corner. I am really sorry. This is gorgeous. I don't know what to say other than it is beautiful wow i am feeling these looks i'm feeling these looks okay let me throw on liner mascara a lash and i will be back to show you and kind of talk about these looks some more because if you couldn't tell i am feeling these looks but here we have look number one look number two okay y'all here are the finished looks i am totally into both of these looks i put on some ardell 113 lashes some black eyeliner i will of course have everything linked in the description box listed out for you but i'm loving the way this like blue to purple eye is over here i think it's fun and i'm also really into this orangey eye i feel like if you took away the pink lower lash line and you took away the pink to blue inner corner you could have a look that's way more like subdued you know if you just took that orangey shadow and took it under the lower lash line instead but i love the orange with the pink also really like how that beautiful like i think that's a hollow chrome is looking next to the orange like i love how like complimentary those shades are but it would definitely pop and look more intense if i put it next to a different colored matte you know i'm just i'm so into both of these looks i feel great in them i really feel great in these looks <laughs> i know i keep saying that but oh makeup just makes me so happy y'all it's so fun let me tell you though, just in case you are curious, I'm also wearing my Bella Beauté Bar Oracle Chrome Highlighter Palette. If you've been on my channel for a while, you're like, Heather, girl, we know you love it. But if you're new here, the love runs deep with this palette. I actually mixed several of the shades for my glow today. I am wearing my Patrick Ta She's Giving Cream and Powder Blush. And I'm wearing Unearthly Carnage Lip Liner with my Omen Gloss from my Resurgence 
collection. So I will link it all down below. These are the looks. Look one, look two. Can you tell I'm into them? But I do need to be quiet because through the power of editing, I'm gonna show y'all look number three. All right, I'm ready. I have my eye primer on. I'm gonna take my Sigma Alice in Wonderland brush and we are going into the green shade. We are going in to creep it real. So what I wanna do is kind of pack this shade all here, then blend it once I get that beautiful green laid down. Oh, I love that. It's like, it's like a witchy lime, you know? It's not like neon like a lime. It's more like dirty, grungy, and I am here for it. Okay. Green, my favorite color. It makes me so happy, honestly. <laughs> I instantly in a good mood when the green eyeshadow goes on. Let's play with this beautiful gray purple type of matte right here so we had creep it real now we're gonna do coven and then we're gonna go into the deepest darkest matte this is black cat but we're we're gonna start with this one i'm gonna pick it up on my brush y'all i'm so messy when i apply my makeup i see people with these like clean palettes and i'm like how 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 Look at that purpley gray shade. Oh, we're here for it. We are here for it. I'm putting it on the lower lash line with a brush from my Sigma set. I'm here for that shade. It is giving me everything I want and more. And then what I'm gonna do is grab one of my blinged brushes. I'm going into black cat and we're putting that right here on the outer corner i'm putting it on the lid here and then i'm just going to layer it right on top of that green right there and then give it a little blend like that just to deepen up our outer corner i am having a hard time deciding which shade to put over my lid this shade right here, Resting Witch Face, is what I'm leaning towards. Let me see. Yeah, can you see, like, right there in the mirror, you see it shift? And, like, in the pan, it's crazy. This is such a beautiful hollow chrome. Sometimes I have to tell myself, like, I, I get to play with this later. Like, once the video is done, I still get to create. <laughs> Oh, because sometimes like I'm, I'm sitting here and I'm like, what am I going to do? Which one am I going to use? But whichever one I don't use, I'll use in a different look. I'm really leaning towards this one. I think the contrast is going to be beautiful. It's so hard to decide. Okay, we're going to go in with Rusting Witch Face. And then we'll use a little bit. We'll use just a little touch of Hocus Pocus too. But... I'm gonna put down my, where is it? My shimmer stay. And we'll go in, we'll go in with these. We'll go in with these. Okay, we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. But first, I'm gonna put that down. And then we'll go in. <laughs> this is me. Like, should I pick the other one? Should I do the other one on the lid? No, we're gonna do that one. Okay, I've got Resting Witch Face on this big old fluffy brush. Pressing it all on top of that shimmer stay. I did spray my brush after I picked up the shadow. Good grief, that is gorgeous. I'm gonna go back and blend some more of that shade in a second, but we need to put on the other shade while that shimmer stay is still tacky. Okay, so I'm taking Hocus Pocus and I'm putting it right here on this innermost part of the lid wrapping it to the inner corner and then carrying it around a little bit to the lower lash line so right now again i'm just pressing it on top of that shimmer stay and then once i have all the shadow down kind of let that shimmer stay set 
Then I will go in and blend. I'm just gonna give it like another, another 20 seconds or so. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of buff now and blend and make sure I get any wrinkles and crinkles covered. Man, that is so beautiful. Same thing here. Wrap it, blend it like that. So I'm gonna do the same thing over here on this eye, but I think we're gonna leave the look right here. Of course, I'm gonna throw on some liner and a lash, but this will be our finished look. We blend a little bit more right out here. I love green, I love green, I love a multi-chrome. I love a dark outer corner. A very me look for sure. I'll finish it up and I'll be right back. All right, y'all, here is the finished look. Oh, I'm so into it. Listen, listen. If you love Bella Butte Bar like I do, you'll like this palette. The mattes, they do the matte thing, you know? Like they blend, they're pigmented. I don't have to layer, 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 but when I wanna layer, like this dark shade on top of the screen, I can layer, they build. They are beautiful, they blend, they are pigmented, all the matte, matte things, they are doing it. You see the shimmers, the multichromes, the holochromes, the duochromes, like you see. Beautiful, stunning. Bella Butte Bar, y'all did it again. Basic, which not so basic though. You know, like not so basic. I'm just, hmm. <laughs> love oh my gosh this was so fun I love creating lots of looks I love playing I love swatching I hope y'all enjoyed this video whether you're interested in this palette or not I hope you had a good time watching if you were curious about other color products I have on my face let me tell you because I don't want to forget I'm wearing my Scooby-Doo Glam Light blush I am wearing, of course, my Bella Beauté Bar Oracle Chrome Highlighter Palette. And on the lips, we've got a Lawless Lip Definer Liner. Is that what it's called? Something like that. Forget the filler definer liner. And Desert Mauve and my Kaleidos Untamed Glow Glossy Lip Glaze in the shade Pent House. That is a mouthful. I'm excited to keep using this palette. You will definitely see it in a speed review video again. You will definitely see it in my end of the year 2023 palette ranking video. I don't want to think too much about that video or I'm going to get stressed. So thank you for watching. I hope you're having a great day. Check the description box. I have lots of links there. Most everything. Tell me in the comments, are you excited for this palette? Are you gonna shop your stash? What, what look did you like best? Are you gonna recreate it? Just listen, let's chat in the comments. I will see you very soon in another video. Bye.